Hey Barn Quilters, it's Christine with Mule Town Designs and I wanted to uh, create a quick video for you today about some tips on using tape when you are taping out your shapes to paint. Um, I've got two methods that I'll show you that I typically teach in class to the uh, class participants. There may be many other ways to do it, but these two ways seem to work really well for us. So I thought I'd go ahead and share these in a quick video for you. Um, of course, let me know if you have any questions. Um, you feel free to comment. If you do have any questions or comments or any ways that work for you as well, um, I love to share information on uh, just things that have worked for me and barn quilting. Um, so I don't believe in keeping secrets. I think we should create beautiful barn quilts together and uh, paint the world with them. So um, let's get started. So um, the pattern that I'm going to be painting today has alternating colors in each one of these blocks. So this will be a dark red, and this will be a dark red, this will be, and this will be, and then these will be lighter reds. So the first thing um, you're going to do is you're going to take your tape. Now I love to use frog tape. This is my favorite, but what I also like to do to get double duty out of it, I like to take my X-Acto knife down the center, and that way you can get twice as much use out of it. Okay, so if I'm going to be painting this section right here, I'm going to find the end of my tape, take off what I need, and lay the tape down on my line. And then run, of course, my finger to seal it. Now, the problem we're going to run into is this side right here. This is going to end up in areas where you're going to need to paint at the same time. So, the quickest and easiest way to get rid of that is to take your X-Acto knife and just cut away the area of tape that you don't need. Simple. Easy peasy. Now, the other way that I have found that works for me, it's a little trickier, but you will take your piece of tape now, when you cut your frog tape, you have a very straight edge, and then you have your jagged edge from where you use your X-Acto. So, this straight edge right here is the one that I'm going to want to put against my line. But, what I'm going to do is take my scissors, and because I'm going to put that straight edge here, I'm going to go ahead and cut my angle in ahead of time. So now I have an angled piece of tape that I'm just going to place right down in here. And it's ready to go. No exacto knife was needed. Now, both ways have their upsides and their downsides. Um, if you were to use your X-Acto and you're going to place another piece of tape down here. You've got two layers of tape right here. And what happens is these X-Acto knives are not really that sharp. So there have been times when um, class participants are cutting, trying to cut through two and three layers of, of frog tape, and it will shred the tape and make a mess. So if you're going to use the X-Acto knife method, I recommend that you cut each layer at once, and that way you do not get shredded tape that don't give you clean lines. The other thing to consider when you're using the X-Acto knives is don't bear down too hard because you can leave lines in the wood or the composite or whatever uh, material that it is you're using. Now, the downsides to the method with the scissors is it takes a little practice and um, 
it's a little tricky to make sure that you get the side that's straight on your pencil line. But um, feel free to use whatever method works best for you. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to answer questions for you. And I hope to have a new video for you shortly. Thanks so much.